You don't become a good programmer by memorizing more syntax or switching languages every week. You become one by building a repeatable framework for how you approach problems, design solutions, and ship reliably. The first step in that framework is to understand the problem before you ever open an editor. Good programmers treat the problem as a specification. What are the inputs, the expected outputs, the constraints, and the edge cases? Instead of jumping straight into code when told to build a login, pause and ask, what does a valid user look like, what rate limits are acceptable, how will errors surface to the user, and what are the failure modes? That short investment in clarifying assumptions prevents hours of wasted work later and gives you a roadmap for testing. Next, design before coding. Sketch the flow, write a quick rough pseudocode outline, and decompose the system into discrete units. Decomposition is the single most powerful productivity multiplier. Break a feature into fetch, validate, transform, persist, and present. Each unit becomes a tiny, testable piece. This step is not optional theater, it's the time you save tenfold during debugging and refactors. When you move to the coding layer, write for humans first and machines second. Choose clear, descriptive names, keep functions small and focused, and favor pure functions where state complexity is unnecessary. If a function cannot be understood in one glance, it is too big. Good names and small abstractions reduce cognitive load for everyone who reads the code later, including you at 2 a.m. Also avoid clever one-liners that look smart but hide intent. The goal is predictable, readable behavior, not an IQ flex. Treat debugging as an experimental science. When a bug appears, isolate the smallest failing case, form a hypothesis about the cause, and design a test or log that will confirm or disprove it. Use binary search strategies to narrow the failure region, add minimal logging to capture the state you need, and reproduce the problem deterministically. Rubber ducking, explaining the issue out loud, often surfaces the missing assumption. Debugging is not random guessing, it's hypothesis testing. Another thing you need to do is to start with tiny, focused projects that teach single concepts. A CLI tool that renames files, a small URL shortener, a password generator, then move to integrations that combine components like auth, databases, and background jobs. Only after you've shipped multiple working systems should you attempt a full SaaS app with deployment, monitoring, and CI. Progressive difficulty builds confidence and teaches you how systems behave under real constraints. Use version control like it matters because, believe it or not, it does. Commit messages are documentation for future humans. A message like fix null pointer tells you nothing, whereas handle missing token in auth middleware tells the story. Branching, code reviews, and small frequent commits create a history that proves competence. Hiring managers read Git histories, by the way. Clean, descriptive commits and meaningful PR descriptions separate serious engineers from hobbyists. Seek feedback aggressively and read other people's code constantly. Reading well-written production code accelerates pattern recognition in a way tutorials cannot. You are what you eat, after all. You can pick an open-source codebase relevant to your interests and read one file a day. Absorb naming conventions, directory layout, and how authors structure tests and error handling. Pair that passive reading with active feedback, open PRs, do code reviews, and solicit critiques from more experienced engineers. Feedback loops and mentorship compress years of experience into months. Finally, synthesize these habits into daily routines. Spend time framing problems, design before typing, write code that reads like prose, debug methodically, ship incremental projects, and document your work. This framework scales. Applied consistently, you will not just learn languages faster, but acquire the judgment that senior engineers use to make trade-offs. Becoming a good programmer is not magic. It is disciplined practice, guided reflection, and deliberate exposure to real systems. Follow this process and your progress becomes inevitable. Oh, and if you are serious about building apps, then you must test everything you make like your life depends on it. And that's where today's sponsor, QA.Tech, comes in. QA.Tech is an AI-powered testing platform that uses agents to interact with your product exactly like a real user would, and it never reads or accesses your code base. I tried it myself, and as you can see, the agent crawled the entire website, explored every possible interaction, figured out all the steps on its own, and generated a full end-to-end -end test from scratch without touching the code. And if something on your page changes, you don't need to rewrite your tests like a caveman. The agent simply regenerates the steps that broke. It also handles API testing automatically. You just describe the endpoint, and QA.tech figures out the required headers, tokens, everything. Plus, their GitHub integration runs exploratory tests on every pull request and can even auto-create feature tests from your preview environment. If you want to save hours of manually clicking every Every button in your app and ship with more confidence, try QA.tech. You get 500 free test runs by using my link in the description. Oh, and remember, kids, to change the entire universe, you have to be.